There's something in the air. A chill flowing through your spine. As several figments from your very mind slowly glaze your ever curious eyes. Get ready for a nasty surprise. Yokai, the folklore monsters of the land of the rising sun. For ages, these creatures have appeared in media, manga, anime, video games. And even Pokemon has its lovable creatures based upon these monsters. I am Bishop Kamen, and today we're doing a top 5 list of my favorite Pokemon based on these Japanese monsters. So, let's begin! Did you know there was a Japanese equivalent to Bigfoot? Only not as hairy or blurry. But this first yokai is known as the Suchinoko. A snake-like creature with a large, rounded middle but with a rat-like tail, and even some legends and reports speculate to have wings and the ability to fly. From that description, you can obviously tell the Pokemon based off that is none other than Dunsparce. Yes, this odd-looking Pokemon is based off the Cryptid of Japan. And even its original games of gold, silver, and crystal, it's mirrored in the fact that you can only have a 1% chance of coming across this thing. Even more so, back in those games, the only place to find it was in the mountains, where the Tsuchinoko's reported sightings occurred as well. Trust me, you have a better chance of being struck by lightning twice than finding a Dunsparce twice. Okay, I'm technically cheating with this next entry, shock of all shocks. But there's a legend of the Shinto god of lightning, Raijin, and how he'd have a companion creature, a beast made of pure electricity who would be seen as a blue wolf wrapped with lightning. And the Pokemon based off that is Manetric, especially if we look at its mega evolution. Goofy, yes, but still a sign of Japanese mythology in it. Interesting enough, the Raiju was thought to be the cause of storms and roaring thunder, and a number of Manetric's Pokedex entries talk about it making lightning bolts and thunderclouds. Also, Raiji had the apparent ability to hide in people's belly buttons. Huh. You know, there's a good fighting game that I really enjoy called Skullgirls, with some really good art, unique fighting controls, and a plethora of awesome characters. Don't judge me! But one of the characters, Fila, is based off the yokai of this very same Pokemon, Mawile. These two are based off the Futaka Kuchi Ona, literally meaning the two-mouthed woman, where they would have a regular human body and face, but on the back of their heads, they would have a secondary mouth that would be functional. And there are even legends that the hair of these women would have the ability to act as secondary limbs. The story of these yokai would be based on a woman's diet, and if she didn't eat a lot, or if she was married to a miser, a regular woman would become one of these yokai. Uh, yeah. Good choice there, Game Freak! Three hidden brothers run upon the mountain gust. First pushed the man down, second sliced the doors in the skin, third defeat the pain with spirit. And that is why I'm not a fan of poetry, my friends. That poem was referenced to the Kamatachi, the Sickle Weasel. And as you would imagine, Sneasel and Weavile fill on that role pretty well. Kamatachi were known to be in colder locations and would attack in trios to attack their foes. Similar to how it's listed in Weavile's Pokedex entries. Not to mention the claws that the Weavile line does have on their limbs. And the Weasel appearance helps as well. Speaking of the cold, the number one on this list is the Yuki Ona, the Snow Woman. Coldly beautiful women who would appear to lost travelers on the icy cold mountains, preying on them for their life energy, freezing them into a living popsicle. They would often be depicted in white traditional yukatas, and they were considered to be ghosts of women who were lost on the snowy fronts. And the Pokemon that represents that legend is Frostlass, from design to typing to even its Pokedex entries. Legends in snowy regions say that a woman who was lost on an icy mountain was reborn as a frost lass. It freezes its prey by blowing its breath. It is said to then to secretly display its prey. And that's my list! What do you guys think? Do you like me doing these top fives? And if so, let me know in the comments below. Also be sure to list your favorite mythical Pokemon. I'm Bishop Common, and be sure to examine your fandom.